All right, we're going to, of course, of course. Do your worst, game. Do your worst. Go ahead. Just do it. While you're pouring salt on my open wounds, you might as well also open a bottle of hydrochloric acid and pour that down too, okay? Just go for it. Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to make a flashlight because I have some bad news for y'all. I was killed. We are now up to four deaths. We've, we've been at three deaths for a really, really long time. I had my camp built up to 97 or 98, and then uh, I got killed at night from a hunter attack in the dark with the rain just pouring down, and I could not see anything and of course they can see me no problem because they're ai uh so they they killed me yeah and uh, really sucks because you know we lost I, I don't know what i lost in terms of my loot we lost some ammo and stuff like that uh but more importantly i lost all that health cap and it just very it's very irritating because it's extremely hard to see those guys in the dark uh especially in the rain so um you know there's two ways to deal with that put up lights which we will eventually do but that's pretty expensive um, I think we have higher priority things than that. And so I think the the next best thing is for us to get a weapon flashlight. Um, and probably because most of the fighting that I do with them, um, you know, when they, when they come, is close range. We'll, we're we're going to put that on the shotgun. Okay? Speaking of which, I also am wanting to make the double barrel shotgun pretty quickly here too. But it uh, we're going to have to you know, build up a lot of power and stuff for that. Uh, so, okay, there's there's a few things we're going to do in this, in today's episode. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go uh, harvest our garden. So let's get that done first. And then we're going to have to have a come to Jesus meeting with our chickens. I have come to realize that once your chickens reach level 10, they no longer produce eggs. And so I'm like, Scrambling. Well, I don't know if scrambling is the word, but it, it's it's a chore to keep up with their food and water, and they're not producing eggs for me. Now they are producing fertilizer, but any chicken I put in there is going to produce fertilizer, so that's really not a valid point. So we're going to have to slaughter all those chickens and refresh this, and always make sure we we are keeping growing chickens in the coop in order to get the eggs. I didn't realize that's the way the game worked until it occurred to me after several days of no eggs that hey. Maybe that's what the deal is. Uh, so anyway, uh, we have a crop of tomatoes ready to go. So let's grab those first. Um, I have been turning off the lights during the day, um, you know, just to, whoops, uh, you know, to, to save power and that sort of thing. Um, but I forgot to turn them, turn them back on last night, but that's okay. We still have uh, a crop here, so it's good. I don't believe I have any... Is there anything mature here? No, looks like everything here is still growing. So let's just top you off with water, make sure uh, you're full. And then we'll go back down here and fill these guys up. And I am um, I'm almost ready to move the crop plots down to the to the deck over here. We just got a few more pieces we need to put in place, which we might try and get to in this episode. Uh, I have 124 nails, so I don't have a lot of nails, but we probably we should have enough nails to to do just the little bit left that I want to do there. Okay, so anyways, uh, I got some fertilizer here. I don't have any tomato seeds in here. Oh, you know what? We got a couple things for the mass recycler too. Let's get those put in because we're at uh, our free 100 power. Okay, um, so yeah, no tomato seeds in here. If I had any, they'd be in here. Oh, we got a full stack of that, so that we need to turn into a biofuel. Uh, we got some potassium going here, and we should have a little more ash there. And yeah, that does it for our fertilizer. All right, now um, let's split this in half and put 16 of these 
juicy delights up there and then the rest we have to convert to seeds to replant one of you guys told me in the comments too that the speed upgrade on the drill doesn't actually work that sucks because <laughs> I thought that uh, you know I thought that would speed up our water production and I spent you know the mass and power and resources to do that and apparently it's a bug and it doesn't actually speed things up so yeah that's disappointing Hopefully that gets fixed at some point. All right, let's turn everything here into seeds. And get them all replanted. And we're doing pretty good, actually, on water. Um, yeah, we're doing good on water. Uh, these two, I think, give the same amount of fertilizer, I believe. But I think the potassium, I know the potassium actually gives more. So again, it doesn't really matter as long as we just get them all filled up. So we're going to have to tap that once or twice too. Okay, good. So that gets our crops going. Um, I'm not really fertilizing this one um, because these are secondary crops. It does have one cotton in it, but I've got plenty of cotton now. Uh, so yeah, we're going to say we're saving the fertilizer for the tomatoes so we can really fast track those, uh, you know, for the farm. So uh, let's see. Let's put this back in here. How many of these do I got saved up in here? 90, okay? I'm, I'm hanging on to some of these, you know, to make tomato soup when we finally get around to making the cooking pot, which is on the list to do. Let's get started with converting all of these medicinal plants into biofuel. Okay. And then we need to get this water redone. And then we're going to butcher those chickens because there's just, uh, you know, I mean, again, they are producing manure, which is something, but... Um, there's no point in continuing to keep three level 10 chickens there and having to keep feeding them and stuff. And we, we're going to go out and find new chickens. All right, so that's done. Now, uh, what we want to do is we need a, we need 120 mass. We're like two shy. So let's grab five of these and we will turn those into sticks. And we'll throw those in the mass recycler when they're ready. And that should give us the mass that we need. All right, chickens. It's time for you to give us your your giblets. We're gonna we'll get a lot of good stuff out of here. We've really got to try and get that baking pan made. You know, it sucks losing that the health cap and the stamina cap, but you know, once we start making the high end food with the baking pan, uh, our health cap will shoot up to to the max really quick. And then you know, if we lose it every once in a while, it's just not that big a deal. All right, let's um, move this out of the way, make room for the new chicken See, We can already make 10 of the roasts and eight of the chicken roasts. Um, yeah, and that's it, that's gonna really shoot us up quickly, so. Okay, we now have 60 premium feathers and uh, some more normal feathers there, which is good. Let's top this off with what we have there so far. And we're, we need to make arrows, I only have one arrow, so. Unfortunately, we're going to have to sacrifice some nails for that. Uh, we're going to grab ten, uh, 10 nails, and we're going to grab five feathers, and we're going to need sticks. So, yeah, we'll have to do those sticks. You know what? We don't need all of this right this moment. We need the sticks right now. So I'll re queue that up later. Uh, so I'm going to need... Let's grab this. I'm going to need... Um, five more of these one two three four five so five of them are going to go or ten of them rather are going to go into the mass recycler and then ten will be used to make our arrows now we can requeue up this stuff here okay so um let's take and put ten of these in there and that should get us up to 120 which is i think what we needed to make the flashlight yep okay so now we also need some weapons parts one, two, three, four, five. We need some, um, two electronics. So we need some of these and some, well, we need some, I think, do we need adhesive too? I don't know. Here, let's make two electronics right now. Oh, copper. We need the copper. Let's get the copper. Uh, okay, so two of these. Uh, that's going to take some mass down. So we're going to have to put some more stuff in the mass recycler thing. 
But yeah, I think this will. Uh, this is. Oh, and we got to make ingots. <laughs> okay, so we're not quite ready to do this yet. Um, let's grab some iron here. Okay, let's. We're gonna wait for the mass to build back up. Well, actually, is it going to? Yeah, we'll may, let it get to 100, and then we'll help along the rest of the way. So we're gonna go out and get ourselves some new chickens in the meanwhile. Uh, so this can all go back in here for now. Uh, these can go in here, like so. We do have one lock pick, so we're good to go there. And let's make or start queuing up all these arrows. And once again, the arrows take quite a bit longer to make, so we'll swap this around. I really wish there was a craft all button. Me and everybody else who's ever played this game, right? Okay, we'll put that in there. We got water. Uh, we will soon have arrows. And so we need to make a new pick. Our pick is just about done. So let's see. We need this, this, and this for the pick. And we're going to take our old pick and just store it in here, and we'll feed that into the mass recycler once we get the free power from it. Uh, let's get you going back in there. Oh, by the way, I did the increased power efficiency upgrade on the refinery now, too. Uh, so, and all of my crop plots up above uh, are at max power efficiency uh, on the upgrades. So the only thing... Yeah, everything is fully upgraded on these... As you can see here, so we got that done. Um, what was I going to say? I'm not going to upgrade these because I've heard it's not worth it. Um, the with the materials that it takes to upgrade these, you can just make another one. And yeah, so we're not. If if I'm wrong about that, let me know in the comments and give me mathematical proof. Um, I haven't looked at it that closely. But anyway, um, let's see. So we're making. Yeah, okay. So we're making the pick. Let's put all this stuff back in here. We got some water with us. Our food's not in too bad a shape. Uh, we don't have actually anything prepared at the moment. If you're curious, that egg that's in there was from a hunter, hunter, not uh, from the chickens. They haven't given me eggs in a while. Let's chow down on one tomato. That should get us up pretty darn close on our carbs. And uh, we'll drink a water. Whoops. And get that replenished. Now, I'm not 100% positive, but I think... I don't think we'll get any attacks today, but we might tonight. So that's why <clears throat> hopefully we can get this um, the flashlight done. Uh, or it's not raining. I, I can handle it in the dark if it's not raining because I can see pretty good. Plus, you know, most of them have glow lights, but... It's just when it's pouring down rain, I cannot see a doggone thing. So, that's the deal, man. That's the deal. All right, so let's see. We're waiting for you guys to cook up, and then we'll be ready to head out and get ourselves some chickens to replenish uh, what was there. Okay, that's ready. Let's just eat it right now, and then as soon as the water's done, we're going... And it's done. Oh, by the way, it is now September. Yes, it is. Uh, we need to... I need to rebuy one of those. I completely forgot about them, but I just remembered. Okay, so we'll let the power and the mass build back up while we go out and see if we can get ourselves some fresh chickens for the pen. What is the... Uh, oh, by the way, here we are on water, too. We got a full stack and then almost another half stack. Yeah, that really sucks that this doesn't actually work. Hmm. Um, oh yeah, this is going to need some attention too once we do get a chicken in there. Let's let's actually prime that up. Um, so we'll put a couple tomatoes in there. Okay, that's all we're going to do with that for the moment uh, because I want to get out and get going before, you know, day, well, daylight's a waste. That's what, what I'm trying to say. That's what my mouth is trying to say. Daylight's a waste. Uh, where is the sun? Okay, so it's late morning. And we are looking for chickens. That's our prime directive. Live chickens, hopefully. 
I don't usually bother trying to catch them. I just shoot them because, you know, I'd say about 50% of the time we get them alive when we shoot them. Running, running after them is just too much of a pain in the neck. Um, you know, we do have the option of animal traps, too, and I did that very early on in Season 2, but the problem with the animal traps is that we can't keep them on the island, so we have to t put them on here on the mainland, and it's just kind of a hassle to to keep up with. Not to mention that um, sometimes the animal's dead, and sometimes it catches a rabbit, which we don't care about rabbits. Yes, I know they supposedly generate more manure but I'd rather have the eggs and the uh, the loot I guess you would call it or the resources from the level 10 chickens over the level 10 rabbits okay, we have some <clears throat> ore over here let's grab it uh, there's a bunny we're gonna let the bunny go this is zinc And um, we do have, like I said, we do have the one lock pick too. So if we happen to come across a locked crate, there's a chicken. Okay. And it's alive. Beautiful. Okay. There's our first new chicken. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure how I feel about that mechanic with level 10 chickens not continuing to produce eggs. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I, th I think they should, uh, unless you're saying, like, it, or the game or cold games or whatever is saying that they're, they're too old to produce eggs anymore, but that doesn't really make sense either. So, I don't know. But it is the way the game apparently works, unless I'm missing something. If you guys who are veterans of this game know otherwise, definitely let me know in the comments, because then, if that's the case, maybe something's bugged. I don't know. But it sure kind of seems to be the situation. So we'll put this chicken in and then go out and get the next one. Might as well grab that fiber since it's right there. Whoop. All right, anything else on the island that spawned in that we can grab that looks like it might be a scrap metal yes it is okay beautiful free delivery right to the island I actually have a little bit of uh, base damage too now that I think about it I got attacked by Bravo right before I started the well actually I don't know if it was Bravo it might have been Charlie because I got actually got a little bit close to Charlie's base when I was out last, and I think maybe it could have been them. It was hard to tell because it was at night. Okay, so there's our first chicken. Let's grab that manure out of there. Um, we're going to need... Let, let's just fill this up. Let's get her done. That chicken pooped as soon as we put it in there. How about that? Okay. Let's take a quick peek out there. Um, we're going to put this in here. That can go in there. That goes there, that goes there, that goes there, that goes there. All of these go up here. Oh, I should put the water in there to get it cooking. Top this off. Put the rest of that in there. Put those in there. And blueberries up there. Okay. Let's grab the hammer and our repair stuff and just take a quick uh, do a quick repair out here um, most of the damage I think it came from that last attack was over this way 1474 yeah if it's 1490 or higher I don't bother repairing it but if it's below that I go ahead and tap it 1480. 1095, that's only five down. 1496, that one's good. 1492, 98. Okay, let's check the foundations. If it's 740 or higher, I don't repair the foundations. Just because we really have to be conservative with our nails in particular. Okay, that one took a hit. What about this one? Yep. And that one there. What about the stairs? Stairs are good. 
That all looks good too. Uh, that took a hit. All right, let's go down here and check these. I should probably upgrade these to armor because they, they get hit all the time. Uh, let's check our platform and stairs out here. Uh, nope, that's good. And that's, yep, that's below 1490. That's the rules. And I think that takes care of all the repairs. Um, no, actually it doesn't. Let's look at these here. Okay, those are good. Those are good. And we already... Oh, no, we didn't get this one. Okay. Yeah, I think we looked at... Nope, we didn't look at that one either. Okay. Yeah, so we should... I should probably armor it. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is... Uh, I, I have a thing where I'm all of a sudden getting stuck here and it didn't happen before. I haven't changed anything here for a long time, so I don't know what that's about. But I have to do like a little, either a duck or a quick jump to get through there, and it's kind of a hassle. Anyway, um, I'm planning on putting this little walkway all the way around because <clears throat> I think that'll increase the chance of the hunters getting caught underneath there, which is ideal because then it's a pretty easy kill at that point. Uh, but we're not doing that yet. We're not quite ready to do that yet. Okay, let's... Uh Let's get this. Put all of that back in there. I'm going to grab a fuel brick to top this off. I know I should wait, but if I wait, then I forget. And our food's not in the best of shape, but I don't want to spend any more time. Uh, so we're just going to eat a few of those. Let's have a couple blueberries and we'll call it good. Let's go. Oh, we don't need to take this with us. See if we can get another chicken before. I, I want to be back at the base at dark because I think that uh, we're going to get an attack. And hopefully, you know, we can make the, the flashlight by then too. We'll see how we're doing on our power and mass. We made all the stuff for it, so we're just, just waiting on that. Okay, so another chicken. It is early afternoon, so we still have some time, as long as we don't go too terribly far away. We'll run up by the arch, our usual stomping grounds for uh, for locked crates. It's such a productive area, man. I'd say at least 75% of the time that I go there, I find a locked crate. Not every single time, mind you, but they are they are over there. This is an iron, which is great. Most important ore, as always. I've got a surprisingly large amount of of copper in this playthrough, um, which is which is a good thing because copper can be sort of kind of hard to get at, at times. But I just I don't know. I've been really lucky with it, I guess. And I got quite a bit of zinc too. It's just the iron and the potassium. Of course, we use the potassium for fertilizer. I don't bother making gunpowder. It's just not worth it. Too expensive. Too darned expensive. Okay, let's go around this way and void the bear. We're not going to cut any trees this time either. We're focusing on chickens specifically and looting as our secondary objective okay a little scrap metal action there we got some ore up on the the rock here and it's iron just what we want Uh, oh, chicken. Okay. Can we get him alive? No. We did not get that one alive. Okay. No worries. Uh, let's just butcher him now. Um, I'm... I'm actually starting to burn chicken and rabbit meat now when I come across it uh, for, the, for the fabricator because i got plenty of rotten meat. A whole mess of spoiled meat. Okay, we got a crate over there. 
Um, let's take you out, since you're right in the way, and I don't want to waste time trying to lead you off. And you'll give us materials, resources. Not very many, but hey, whatever. Let's get this uh, medicinal crate here. And we have a building crate over this way. Give us nails, please. There we go. I like to put the nails down in the lower left-hand corner so I can keep track of the count as we go along. There's a bear over there. Okay, let's run this way. <clears throat> Excuse me, this way. We'll head over towards the pond so we can wash our hands and keep looking for crates and chickens. Chickens and crates, crates and chickens. And, you know, if we don't get all three chickens today, which we probably won't, I'll just keep looking for them every time I go out and about. The thing is, is you want to, you know, you want to kill them fairly close to the base, because if you're halfway across the map and you kill them, then they'll probably be dead by the time you get home. So that's a thing. Just kind of running this way, doing a scan hither and thither. There's a piece of scrap. Oh, I hear a chicken. There he is. Okay. Yep, he's dead. And there's some scrap. We've got to be careful. We're getting close to the Charlie's backyard here. Okay, let's go down to the pond. Actually, we're probably not as close to Charlie's backyard, but definitely moving in that direction. Let's take a quick peek in the pond to see if there is any uh, or are any clams. And we might as well grab kelp too while we're at it if it's there. So we've had two chickens so far, but both of them have unfortunately perished at the uh, the cruel penetration of our arrows. I was trying to say something profound, and actually that sounded kind of corny. <laughs> okay, we got one clam there and a couple more of these. Let's grab them, and it's getting on in the day, <clears throat> so we probably better start heading back. Okay. Maybe we'll come across another chicken on the way back. We're going to kind of cut across this way to the northeast and then head towards the base. It's never a bad idea to backtrack in this game because it likes to spawn stuff in behind you. At least that's a... How the legend goes. It could be purely random and it just seems that way. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Building crate. Alright, 34 nails. Not bad for not a full day of looting. I don't know if I've told you guys this or not. I, I meant... Oh, crap. I mentioned it on uh, the last live stream I did of subsistence, but... 40 nails is my my number for a day's a minimum number I should say for a day's worth of loading that's what I try and get anything less than that and it's sucks all right we'll take that stuff blueberries there is a mo oh shit I did not know he was right there I did not know he was there. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that just happened. I thought he was still, like, tracking us. I didn't know he was charging us. <laughs> okay, and we're infected. Yeah, right, I know, I know, I know. The game is, like, rubbing it in. That's our last antidote, but we got stuff to make more. 
Okay, well, let's hope and pray we don't get attacked while we're trying to retrieve our stuff because, yeah, um, <laughs> that was bad, you guys. Oh, that was terrible. Um, anyway, what, yeah, I, he, I should have paid more attention. That's all there is to it. In my mind, I thought he was tracking us, meaning that he was walking towards us. I did not know he was charging us, and it didn't sound like he was because he was kind of making more of his less angry sound because usually when they're charging you they're growling you know intensely and i don't know whatever it happened and we must recover and move on um look at look on the bright side we got a free bandage and a free glow stick out of the deal and a free axe which is not worth what we probably <laughs> lost uh, from dying, but hey, you know, whatever. Oh, and we probably better use this because, yeah, we need to, don't we? Uh, let's change it to green. I think green is brighter. It probably isn't, but it just seems like it is. Oh, okay. We'll loot that along the way. Might as well. Okay. Wow, that sucked. Very unexpected. I wonder why it does that base beacons established after the player dies. And stay away from whatever that is. Yeah, if we if we get attacked before we get back, that's gonna suck. We can pretty much kiss all of our nails goodbye, and then we have to start the cycle all over again. You know, I I definitely understand why people play this game with the hunters on revenge only or even no attacks because it's just it slows down progression so much because you spend yeah there's that bastard bear that killed us you spend um at least half maybe even some it depends upon the situation but sometimes even almost all of your resources but usually, you know, a, a, let's just say a very large percentage of your resources. Crap. Repairing the damage that they do, and it it's, it's super hard to get ahead, you know? Because you're always spending your resources repairing what the hunters did. Oh. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to run this guy around this big rock here. After we grab that. I've got hunters chasing me. Oh, crap. Not good. There's hunters around here. Not good at all. Not good at all. Oh, no, no, no. Stay away from me, you bastard. Oh, bear, go after them, not me. Come on, man. Cut me some slack here. Fortunately, that's a pig. Okay, let's hunker down in this little cubby here. Is this the worst luck or what? Oh, we better take that too. All right, can they not walk around this rock? I think they're so dumb they can't walk. <laughs> they don't know how to walk around the edge of the rock. Oh, uh, shoot. Okay, that one's coming close. All right, let's long range him. Oh, shit. This is not good. bandages oh can you guys believe this luck wow 
Cold Games is just kicking the crap out of me and then opening up some salt and pouring it all over my wound. Oh, we so lucked out, you guys, on the respawn. That could have gone really worse. <laughs> we could have been all the way up in the north. All right, let's try this again. Lord Almighty, please don't send hunters to attack our base tonight. I think I can I think I can honestly say that this has been the worst day ever in subsistence. Topped maybe only by <laughs> that one night in the winter in season one where I kept dying over and over again and had random spawns and it was a blizzard outside and we lost our stuff. We eventually found it. That was so I couldn't believe how lucky we were. We're not quite in in that bad a shape, but yeah, this isn't good. This is not good at all. Um, let's um let's do this now, so it's done, and try and get our stuff back again. Wow, just unbelievably bad luck. And you know that's the way this game works. You make a mistake like I did with the bear, and it can just spiral downwards and just compound and get worse and worse. Let's hope it doesn't get any worse now. Um, I don't even know if I managed to kill any of those guys. Um, I was, you know, hoping they would kind of come around the corner and I could ambush them, but it just, well, you, you guys all saw how it went down. It didn't work too well. Ran out of bandages, so I couldn't heal the bleed, and then it just... It's just bad luck. Just bad luck. That's all there is to it. Okay, so I don't know what happened to that bear. He started chasing me again instead of the hunters. He could have helped us with the hunters. It's the least he could have done. Um, But maybe the hunters killed him because I kind of didn't hear him after we ran away from him. And hopefully those rogues... See, that's their camp. So, yeah, we're going to have to really be careful. But hopefully they go back to their camp and we can kind of sneak over and get our stuff. I'm not 100% sure we got everything from the first backpack either. I didn't have enough time to, you know, to deal with that. But the problem now is I don't know exactly where that backpack is. Come on, stamina. Here, let's put this down here. Okay, there's a level two something over there. It's a bear. That isn't the same bear that we... I don't, well, I don't think it is, because it's, unless it healed. Come on, bear, leave me alone. I don't have time for this. Let's make a wide arc back around that way to get that bear off of us. Plus, we want to kind of approach from this angle anyways because of the hunter proximity. Now we got a wolf and another level three something there. Oh, that's the bear right there. See, he's level three now because... He took us out. There's a damaged level 2 wolf. Oh, man, this is not good. I can't thread that needle. They're too close, and I can't keep running in that direction because of the hunter camp. All right, we're going to... Of course. Of course. Do your worst, game. Do your worst. Go ahead. Just do it. While you're pouring salt on my open wounds, you might as well also open a bottle of hydrochloric acid and pour that down, too, okay? Okay. Just go for it. <sighs> okay. Um. Yeah, we gotta be careful. We, we, we gotta. Here, let's crouch. A. Okay. Good. Both of the critters are moving behind us. So let's move 
in the opposite direction and just stay crouched. And we'll just sneak up over this way. Like I said, I don't know if my other backpack, if we completely emptied it or not. Oh, stay crouched. No, actually, I think we're okay at the moment. Wasn't it like... It probably it was somewhere. Oh no! Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! That's player gear. Okay, good. So good. We recovered everything from our first backpack. Um, it's nice that it says player gear because then you know it's yours, right? Okay, now let's stay crouched. We got a bear off to the left. This is. This must be. Oh. Player gear? Oh, maybe they all say that. I don't know. Yep, I, w I expected that. Our base is going to get the crap beat out of it. We can't do anything about that right now. We just got to recover our stuff. Okay, we got everything back. Let's hunker down here for a second. And try and regroup. So we'll re reload the weapons first. Okay, everything's reloaded. Wonder why it only takes this off and not the other stuff. Uh, we get some free cloth out of the deal because the game gives us the starter pants for some weird reason. I mean, I understand why it would do that if we were still uh, in the early game. But anyway, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining about. It. We, we we're gonna have to get this stuff repaired. Excuse me when we get back to the uh, to the the ranch there. All right, let's go ahead and carefully head on home. I don't have any medipacks with us, and I'd like to get back because we might get a third attack, and if we can at least intercept that one, that would be a good thing. Shut up, wolf. Oh, hey. Okay, so for all of our trouble, at the very least, we get to end this episode with a locked crate. And there you go. Got some cotton seeds, we got some plating, some rifle ammo back, some shotgun ammo back. So, you know, I'll take it. As rough as an episode as this was, I'll take it. All right, you guys. Well, um... Um, I'm going to head home and hopefully can get back there, you know, before the the third group of hunters attack. Because, again, they almost always attack all the, on the same day. And then, you know, obviously I'm going to have a lot of repairing to do. Well, we'll see. You know, sometimes the damage isn't as bad as I think it's going to be. And sometimes it's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> um, so, you know, we'll have to deal with that. And then I'm going to need, you know, some more in-game days to go out and grind and get, get stuff going. Can we get a live chicken? That would also help make me feel better after this terrible episode. Nope, we killed him. All right, whatever. Uh, let's just eat those two things. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to just have to spend some time off camera regrinding and trying to get our resources back up and as usual i will bring you back when the time is right and we will do the next thing so yep that's subsistence for you you guys it can't it can't go smoothly all of the time um frankly i'll be honest with you i'm i'm astonished that we got as far as we did with only three deaths uh, but now we have five uh, no six deaths yeah <laughs> wonderful six deaths to our name uh, it happens though okay guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and if you think a bear is chasing you make sure you keep running until you are absolutely 110 percent sure 
the bear is no longer chasing you. Okay, that's all I got to say. Goodbye.